It's been almost three weeks since Broadway theaters reopened their doors, started welcoming audiences back. One brand new show, leaving theater goers hungry for a whole lot more. The play is called <laughs> Chicken and Biscuits, and it centers around an African American family coming together for a funeral, learning to love each other in spite of their differences. The play is still in previews, but it's quickly becoming an audience favorite. It's such a great time. It's so Go. Fun. You have to see the show. Not only was it good, not only was the acting giving, not only was the music giving, but we went to church. Yes. I'm here for it, okay? I have never felt so yeah. seen on Broadway. Ah. Love that. She went to church, too. Chicken and Biscuits. It's one of seven shows written by black playwrights currently on Broadway, which is unprecedented. And this morning we are joined by one of those playwrights, Douglas Lyons and actor Norm Lewis, who steals the show, by the way, as Pastor Mabry. Good morning, gentlemen. What's up? Good morning. Thanks Congratulations on the success of this show. Thank you. Yeah, well, Norm, Thank you. Norm, let me ask you, how does it feel to be back on Broadway? It's awesome. Uh, you know, to come back with a show as beautifully written as this is, uh, and not just because the playwright is here, but it is a beautifully written show. Uh, it's about a culture that I know about, I grew up with, but it's, it's real world issues and real family issues, but uh, everyone can relate to it. Uh, it's told through a lens of uh, African American culture, but like I said, everyone can relate to it. Yeah, by the way, I love that the, how the stage is set up in that theater. With, with kind of encompassing the entire stage. But Douglas, give me the premise here and why you decided to, to get behind this. Well, I grew up in the black church and if you've ever been to a black church, it is both religious, but also comedic. And so, you know, there's a parallel between the American theater and the church. And it felt like a prime opportunity to create a community, a family, and to display what they go through and how they heal from it. And uh, yeah, that was kind of the inspiration for the play. And Norm, you, how much of your own personal experiences did you bring to your character? Well, the, my grandfather was a preacher, and oh. uh, I'm, I'm invoking a lot of his spirit. I grew up with uh, two preachers that had very similar sort of uh, uh, performances, if you will. Uh, uh, so that's what I've drawn from. And it's been a lot of fun. The freedom that I've had, uh, and the encouragement, a lot of the things that I didn't think about before that were given by Douglas and also our our great director, Jalen Levingston, uh, have really developed this character into this great ensemble to fit into the great ensemble that we have. You know, let's talk about the, the, the journey to Broadway, right? Because you began actually in Queens um, at the Queens Theater. Now, that's a big jump from there to Broadway. How did, how did, <laughs> how did it happen? We were in in a black box theater, um, 90 seat or so, and I actually slid into the DMs of a Broadway producer. And I was like, hey man, you followed me on Instagram, I think you really need to read the script. And he did, like five months later during the pandemic. There became an opening at Circle in the Square. We walked the theater in like April, May. It was very secretive. We had auditions and started getting the word out internally, and then we were able to announce June 24th. So it's kind of a miracle, but I think that's in line with what the play does. It's just a miracle of joy for audience. I love that. Yeah. First off, two things. I love that you slid into the DMs, right? That's how everything starts these days. Slide into the DMs. <laughs> and, I <lo> <laughs> and I love Circle in the Square. I thought that was, you know, that's their, their, their stage is so unique there. Yeah, one of the things we saw as we were going into this, this segment, a, a woman saying in that video that by watching the show, she felt seen. When you mm. hear people reacting to your work like that, to feel seen, how did that make you feel? I mean, that's why, we, that's why we write. Like, I write for young black and queer people who don't feel seen in the American theater. And so it's exactly what the message of the show is. It's for the people, mm -hmm. it's to uplift people and hug people and love on people and encourage them right now to keep going after the 18 months of school. So hearing that really, really moves me because it was written for that demographic, very young black women who feel like they don't have a place in the theater, now they do. Uh, and I got to say, you know, for both of you, Broadway really making a comeback, but also seems to be making up for some lost time here and the, the lack of diverse playwrights. And now, now that we're seeing seven of you on, on Broadway at the same time, both mm -hmm. of your reactions seeing Broadway kind of transform. Well, I will say that it's for me, I think that it's, it's fantastic. And I think we should make uh, make sure we take advantage of this opportunity. But I don't want it to be a one off. I want yeah. us to be able to have this conversation because it's just beginning. And so uh, to continue with African-American stories, 
uh, Hispanic stories, uh, Asian stories, and you know, just to have that sort of diversity and and uh, you know, uh, a chance for people to to express themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on the success of this show. We're really happy for you, Norm Lewis. Thank you, thank Douglas you. Lyons. Thanks so much for joining us this thank morning. You. you know, I mean, thank I, you for having us. I'm thank you for having us. Thank you both. I'm very excited to see this, and I'm taking a page from Douglas. I got to start sliding to people's DMs and making this happen. <laughs> Slide on in. Slide let me tell you, on let in. me tell you something, okay, Douglas? Because our, our, I'm going to blow her up right now, but Mati Sol here across the studio, she slid into a neuroscientist DMs, and now the two of them are an item. I mean, this is how it happens. Bam. Right? <laughs> Bam. That's, Bam. What, we, that's, that's, what, we call, that's what we call chicken and biscuits. Right. There yes. you go. Right? Yes. Yes. That's right. Full circle right there. <laughs> hey, thank chicken. you both. Thank you Again, Thank you. Chicken and Biscuits will open at Circle in the Square Theater this coming Sunday, but you can catch it in previews until then. All right. Break a leg, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't so, wait to see I it. didn't know that about Marisol. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how she got her chicken and biscuits, right, mm -hmm. girl? Right. I don't think Josh would want to be referred to as chicken and biscuits, <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> but let me tell you, that's how it happened. I love those two gentlemen. Oh, yeah. So dapper and talented. Love Holy smokes. I'm looking forward to seeing that, too. Wow.